Hi guys, I have here today the tenderizer for your meat. I love it. All you have to do is use that little switch right there and it'll lock it into place on your countertop. Then you put in the grated um, part where it's the tenderizer, screw that in there, then put the handle on. And then they have like a protective part so your fingers don't get caught in there, which would be awful if it did. So I love that they have that protective part there. And then the meat, as you can see, it's thick and all of that. So then I'm going to put it through the tenderizer. And before you know it, it's going to be nice and tender. And um, then all you have to do is just pull that around, stick it on the other side, and then you have it all done. I love it. I'm going to get so much use out of it, and I hope you guys love it. Hi guys, I have here today the meat tenderizer. This is super cool. It comes with five pieces and an instruction packet, which is really nice, but it's very easy to put together. It is a food grade safe item and it's stainless steel, so it's all safe and it doesn't have the oxidation. And it also, um, you cannot put it in the dishwasher. So do not put it in the dishwasher. But I'm really excited to show you how to put this together and how to use it. I will be also showing you the before and after. And I don't know about you, but I love to do, um, to tenderize my meat. It's really nice because it gives it that juicy, tender taste to it. And it's just a little added extra that you can do to make your meat tasty and delicious super easy to put together i love it i'm going to get so much use out of it one thing that i do like to i do want to show you is it has this uh, clear top that you can slip right on top where um it's like a safety mechanism that i absolutely love because other than that you just have the teeth here which they are they are sharp so um again it is not dishwasher safe but i love this and i will show you how to put it put it together Another thing I did want to point out to you is that um, before you tenderize your meat, you have to make sure that it is deboned and thawed. You cannot do this with frozen meat and you cannot do it with bones. So debone and thaw and then you're good to go and good to start tenderizing your meat.